What is up, sports bettors? Happy Thursday. Uh, I am Shock Ninja. This is Joe. This is Ian. We are the guys who bet. And welcome to GNB Quickies for today. A pretty hot week, Joe. Five and one on the show yesterday. Mm-hmm. How did your picks do? Uh, three no with the ones I gave it on the show, and then the extra one I gave it on Twitter later was a loss. So three and one total. So, yeah, pretty hot week all yeah, around. Pretty good. We started the Guys and Bets Quickies on Monday, so we did the show Monday, Tuesday. We went uh, four and two mm-hmm. with those ones. No, six and two yeah. with those ones. So, uh, yeah, pretty good week here. We've got uh, some college basketball, some NBA, and uh, Copa del Rey, uh, the other semifinal today. I hit uh, Athletic Bilbao yesterday on the show. Uh, but, Joe, get us started. You've got three picks. You've got the one NBA. What do you like there? Yeah, NBA winding down. We have two games tonight. Then, of course, we go right into the All-Star break. So, best game of the night, we have the Clippers in Boston to take on the Celtics. And I like the under in this one. Here's why. Neither team has been making it easy on opposing offenses lately. Over the last 10 games, the Clippers ranked third in opponent effective field goal percentage, while the Celtics are just a percentage point behind, ranking fourth. The Clippers will have to make the most of their opportunities to score because Boston might not give them many. Over the last 10 games, the Celtics are allowing the fewest shot attempts per game. Expect many Clippers possessions to go deep into the shot clock as a result. And the Clippers are seeing lower scoring games on the road lately, going under in eight of their last 11 when traveling. So give me the under tonight in Boston and guys this reminds me a lot of the game they played in Philadelphia the other night total that one was sent uh, set at 228 they combined for just uh, 213 mm. so uh, Boston plays kind of a similar defense to the 76ers yep. they don't allow a whole lot of shot attempts so I'll take the under on that one so not a whole lot of good betting options in the NBA of course with only two games so I'm hopping back into college basketball two spots I really like the first one we're going to take the under between the big game between Bryant and Sacred Heart. I think it's the first game on the board today. So let's get right into this one. It is the game of the night across all sports going down in the West Gym at the William Pitt Center. And each team has been a big money under bet lately. Sacred Heart has gone under an eight of its last nine with those games seeing an average combined score of just 131. Bryant, meanwhile, has gone under in four straight games that have seen an average combined score of 130.75. Don't expect Bryant to contribute much from the free throw line as they rank 255th in free throw attempts per game. Even when they get there, they're connecting on just 68.2% of those shots. Also of note here is Sacred Heart ranking 37th in free throw attempts allowed. And to wrap it all up, each is playing great three-point defense with Bryant ranking 28th in opponent three-point D and Sacred Heart at 32nd at home. So give me the under in this one. And we're going to wrap it up with uh, an under bet. I tend to like, or an over bet, sorry. I tend to like betting the unders in college basketball. But uh, this is one that I saw it and I loved it. Uh, I think the line is way too short. So we have Weber State taking on Montana. We're going over in this one. Montana games have taken on a very high scoring pattern lately. With, the, with their last six games going over for an average combined score of 160 points. The over has also been a profitable bet in recent Weber State games with it hitting in four of the last five. These teams played just a couple of weeks ago and combined for 172 points in Weber State's 87-82 win on January 25th. Each went off from three-point lane shooting 50% and I expect much of the same tonight with the teams ranking 274th and 318th in opponent. Three point percentage. Give me the over between Weber State and Montana. Well, it's been a hot week so far, Joe. So hopefully that continues with three good picks there. Now, if you know this guy, you know that 2020 has been very kind to his bankroll. A pretty hot start to the year, Ian. And we would be remiss if we did not get a college basketball play from yourself. So what do you got your eyes on? Yeah, Joe, between your two college basketball picks and mine, we really are hammering the top three uh, most watched games on the slate tonight because I'm going to the Atlantic Sun Conference. My best bet of the night is going to be Jacksonville plus nine versus North Florida. So the biggest thing we're looking at in this matchup is strength versus strength. North Florida. 
first in three-point shot rate in the entire country. Jacksonville's pretty good at defending the three. They're 37th and opponent three-point field goal percentage. Moving on, we always want to take a look at rebounding, and Jacksonville has the advantage. They're 90th in rebounding rate compared to North Florida, who is 234th. And then finally, Jacksonville just has an overall pretty significant defensive advantage. They are 84th in defensive efficiency, 76th in opponent floor percentage, while North Florida is 284th in defensive efficiency and 328th in opponent floor percentage. I don't understand this line. They're giving Jacksonville nine points. I will take that all day. Give me the Dolphins. Over to the pitch for my pick today, and it is the second semifinal in the Copa del Rey over in Spain. And uh, it's at Real Sociedad, so there's a lot of good betting options for this game. I'm gonna go over three plus 110, and here is why. I've tweeted about this a few times this season, but Real Sociedad is playing some of the best football in Europe. And that just isn't limited to La Liga. They haven't missed a beat in the Copa del Rey. They've scored 21 goals in five games in the tournament so far. And an over three bet would have cashed in four of their five games in the cup. Obviously, that includes their last win, which was a wildly entertaining 4-3 win away to Real Madrid. Not to be outdone here, the visitors are playing extremely well themselves and have beaten three La Liga teams on the way to the first leg of the semifinal here. They beat Celta Vigo, Sevilla, and Villarreal to get to this point, and have done it pretty convincingly. 3-1 win over Sevilla, 4-2 win over Villarreal. Should be reminders to Sociedad that this team can actually play a little bit. Still, they are 10th in the second tier in Spain. But Real Sociedad has become must-see TV because of two players in particular, Martin Odegaard and Alexander Isak. This team is actually pretty solid all around and has good players everywhere. But these two really catch the eye. Isak has eight goals in two Copa del Rey games and has scored two against Real Madrid, while Odegaard has become one of the best playmakers in Europe. Lots to bet on this game, but I will be taking the over three at plus 110 over in Spain. So there you go. Five picks on today's uh, GMB quickies. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with the regular studio show, noon Eastern on YouTube, 9 Pacific. And uh, we will be joined by Harry, who's... Uh, our XFL expert. XFL expert. Yeah, he's got a pick hey, in I'm the XFL. Hey, I'm betting 100% on XFL. What did you bet last week? Uh, the Battlehawks. Yeah, Just one and all, but still 100%. That is my new team, the Battlehawks. They're once again the biggest underdog of the week. The yeah. disrespect, I put my money down on them at plus eight. And did you make any XFL bets? No, I did not make any XFL bets. Will you be betting bets. this weekend? I'll tail whatever Harry has for yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. So what about all Joe over here? <laughs> no. Harry's a betting percentage on XFL. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you're going to want to join us for that to end your week. Uh, so uh, whatever you folks do with your best tonight, best of luck. Follow Joe on Twitter at JTFOZ, Ian at Ian Mac OS, and myself at Shock underscore Ninja. We will see you all tomorrow live on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Woo!